Hey everyone, I need to preface this video really quickly with something that I did some research on and learned um, after the fact, after I recorded this video already. So when I say that I'm doing a Russian join, I'm technically doing what you would do in hand knitting called a cleft join. So it's um, where you're taking the two ends, you're making the loops and you're going like this, um, and you're doing a clasp weft join. I think they nor I think the term came from maybe weaving first, but because of the weft part, but it's a clasp join. Now with a Russian join, what you can't do really on the machine as easily is you're taking the end and you're threading it into the plies um, of it of the previ of the yarn, the working yarn of its own yarn. And then you're taking the other, the new yarn, and you're looping it through that little loop, and you're then taking that end and putting it into the plies of the new yarn, creating like a single strand instead of having um, like two strands of yarn when you're doing the clas clasped join. Wah! All right, that was a lot of explanation. I wanted to keep that shorter, but I wanted to say, I say Russian join this whole video when it's really not technically a Russian join, I guess. Either way. I just wanted to tell you guys. Hey everybody, it's Aquila and I'm back with another cranking video. This one's gonna be really short, sweet, and simple. This is how you do a Russian join or a color change on your knitting machine. So it's the same you would do in hand knitting except uh, you're doing it on your machine. So I am almost out of yarn on this cone, so let's get started. You're gonna crank until you have about the length from here to your mast. You can't see my mast, so I apologize, but we're just gonna roll with it. I don't want it to pull my cone, so I'm gonna take it off the cone fully at this point. All right, and then keep going. All right, so we're stopping about here so you can kind of see. I can go a little bit further. All right, it helps that I have a slotted yarn carrier. You don't have to have a slotted yarn carrier, but what you're doing is you're making a loop here. So you're gonna make a loop. So you're gonna take your end. If you don't have a slotted yarn carrier, you're gonna feed it through your yarn carrier. But I have a slotted one, so here we go. You pull it in, pull your tail in. You take the tail and you put it underneath the couple of the needles. You're gonna hold it and you're gonna crank forward just so it catches. Just a little bit. So now you have this loop, see? Loopy loop. I'm gonna grab a new, I'm making some monster socks. This is all Patton's Croy that I used for my husband. He loves this yarn for his work socks. And it's a workhorse yarn. So I have a bunch of scraps and I'm making some monster socks. So I've threaded this new yarn through my mast. You're gonna take it and you're gonna make a loop. You're gonna take the end, put it into your loop, making essentially the other loop like that. So you have the tail and the working yarn, right? You're gonna hold it. You're gonna keep cranking forward slowly. It's gonna knit those two strands that made the loop. And then you keep going. And that is how you do a Russian join on your circular sock machine. So I will do it again in just a minute. Let me get through this cone and I'll do it one more time. I've come to the end of my yarn. I'm gonna crank till I have enough to make a loop. It's stopping about the same spot, isn't it? All right, that's fine. Take your end, feed it through your machine, feed it under a few needles. You can leave a little bit of a tail, crank it in. You have a little loop, I have a very little loop, but that's okay, it'll work. Pick a whole nother color here. <sighs> Told you I have a I have a bunch of scraps, so I thought this would be a good video to show you. You're gonna feed it into your loop, make the the join, crank forward. 
All right, there you go. There's your Russian join. Uh, let me know what other things you might want to see that are simple, fast, and easy. I love doing these little videos. And take care, everybody, and happy cranking.